that doesn't belong to you. From her nine seasons on TV's Touched by an Angel. Sent by God. It has begun. To her faith-positive miniseries and best-selling devotional books, Roma Downey has made it her mission to spread kindness and hope through the Word of God. Now in her new book, Be an Angel, she shares how to do just that, using favorite quotes and scriptures along with her own personal stories of discovery and growth. You actually believe that all of us can actually be angels. What do you mean by that? It's one thing to say, I love you, or I believe in God. And it's a whole other thing to actually take an action around that. So be an angel really is a call to action, to be kind. She says this starts with how we begin our day. In the morning, I start my day in gratitude. Whether you believe in God or you don't, to think about maybe how could I do something for somebody else today? Think of people can do that, that maybe they would feel more hopeful, that maybe they would feel more connected. Do you think the idea of telling people they can be an angel will turn people off? That's a religious thing, and uh, I don't see myself that way. I think that we're all a little bit broken, aren't we? You know, we nobody is perfect. Um, this is not about being perfect. This is really just about being kind. Here at her home outside Los Angeles, Roma says life is a far cry from her childhood growing up in war-torn Ireland where she first learned the power of kindness from her father. We're so divided in the United States, yes. for example. What did he convey to you that helped you not become a person of hate? You know, the minute you see somebody as different than you, it's, I think it's easier to feel that disconnection. So mm -hmm. our dad would encourage us just to find the things that we shared, the similarities in each other. So in a way, you're doing the same work as your father I guess so. did. Yeah, I never a, thought of it. On a higher I never thought or a of it that plane way. And through a book. Yeah, I suppose so in some ways, you know. Maybe we just turn into our parents before <laughs> we realize it. In her book, Roma also shares lessons from her 15 year marriage to Hollywood producer Mark Burnett. And she talks about the value of getting older as a woman in her 60s. But I'm quicker to say, I don't really want to do that to things that I don't really want to do. Right. I realize a lot of my life, I was like a, much more of a people pleaser. Age you know. has given you the right to say no to yeah, things. I think so. I don't know about you or anybody watching, but I'm a menopausal woman and sleep and I are not the best of friends anymore. And so some nights I'm lying in my bed, you know, and the things that maybe were like little worries, during the day become these Herculean things to wrestle with in the night. Anybody that follows me on social media knows I'm obsessed with the sunrise. It's a great sort of symbolism of a new day, a new beginning. And if you messed up yesterday, let's try and do better today. Roma's new book, Be an Angel, comes out Tuesday, and it's a great read. Back to you. Okay, Maria, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.